listening. There we go. Hey, I love starting a show with a laugh because you never know what we were talking about. This is Rick Jansen, Coffee with Closers for Agents, and I'm here with Myrna Elligar of Windermere Real Estate in Bellevue. How are you doing, Myrna? I'm good. How are you, Rick? Good, thanks. As you guys know, this is everything you need to know for agents and the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. So grab one, take some notes for the next 10 minutes. Myrna, why should people listen? Who are you? Uh, my name is Myrna Lagar. I've been doing um, real estate for a little over six years. Um, my background is in architecture and interior design. Um, my love in real estate for real estate started when I decided doing design and then I did flipping homes um and now i've been helping buyers and sellers for for over six years so it's my passion i love what i do um and the favorite part about it is just helping people and, and not one day is the same like the other one so it, it keeps you know it keeps you entertained <laughs> i can tell you love homes and it looks like you're in a beautiful one right now tell yeah. us a little bit about your production uh, and then we'll kind of dive into some of what you're doing yeah, absolutely. Um, so actually, this year has been my uh, my peak. Um, I did a little bit over 40 million in sales this year so far. Um, and um, I've uh, I've been awarded since I started. Thank God, I'm very blessed. Um, I was actually featured at the Forbes magazine as one of the top brokers in Washington State, um, in Seattle Time magazine for five years in a row, only about 0.21% of, of brokers in Washington state get that recognition that many years in a row. Um, I was actually in a radio talk show uh, in November. Um, I was on the cover of a magazine um, as top broker of the year. So I've, I've been really blessed. <laughs> well, and it's hard to toot your own horn, but you did a nice job of it without pulling out the full trumpet and fanfare. <laughs> so you, great job. And six years in, that's incredible incredible production. So everybody here is the first question they're going to ask is, where does Myrna get her leads? Are you kidding me? That's incredible. 40 million. So let's dive into leads. Like it's September 2022 as we're recording this. Everybody's experiencing like a just kind of a normalization to a, a, a more stable market. But I know uh, from folks I've talked to in Washington before, market's kind of shrinking a little bit. So where are you getting your leads? Let's start there. Um, so my leads, I, I always say I do not spend time or money on the typical postcards or cold calls. I've never done that. What I do is that I really focus on the clients I have and kind of let them do the work. Um, so I really pamper my clients. Just be honest. I'm, I'm a, one of my recognitions is um, I'm a certified negotiation expert. So I'm originally from Egypt. So I guess negotiations is in our blood. Um, but I'm officially cheap now and I love it. Um, <laughs> a lot of buyers really appreciate that, especially when the market was insane and we were going, you know, half a million, a million dollar above asking. They really needed someone kind of that they trust and know that they've got their back. Um, so, yeah, so I, I started my leads just with a small group of friends from church um, that happened to be all of them work in tech. So I kind of have, um, you know, my own people in Facebook or Amazon or Microsoft or Google, you name it. And I, every time they just hear real estate, they jump into the conversation. It's like, you have to call Myrna. So I just, I let them do the work, I guess. So I'm, again, very blessed with, with an awesome group of, of clients that just became really good friends of mine. And I, and I love, I, 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 you know, I, I'm having a hard time speaking because I haven't had my cup of coffee yet, but I love hearing you say that you're blessed and that you've, you're finding friends through church because I'm faith forward as well. And sometimes people think like, wow, I can't talk about my faith or I'm going to turn off clients. Uh, but that's not necessarily true, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I think, again, I, I believe in, in karma and that, you know, good things will come around back to you. And it's, my very first client was one of my best friends that I met um, at, you know, at church. And she literally waited for me until I got my license to sell and buy her home. So in my first six days of getting my license, I listed a property and sold a property um, in, in five, six days. So, yeah, it's it just I guess, you know, it works wonders when you put your heart and you really give it your A game. I can guarantee you will get that back. So a couple of things I heard you also say is you pamper your clients. I yes. want to know more about that. I'm sure the listeners do as well. Yeah. And your fans are saying, call Myrna. So they're raving fans. So what are you doing to pamper them that they become raving fans and go out of their way to refer you? 
Um, few things. So I have actually a company that I work with. Uh, their name is Client Giant. So it, it, it's a little bit on the pricey end, but I think it's so worth it because it has a lot of customization and, and like every client feel like, and if you go on my website, you would see the reviews saying, we thought we're her only client. I think that is the trick part is to make every client think that they're the only ones and that I really, really care. Um, which I obviously do, but what I typically do, so I start my process with, um, for buyers with like a consultation meeting, um, kind of walk them through the process of what's going to happen. I have to like a, a, a buyer's guide together. So they really know the start at the end of the process before even, you know, pulling the trigger and start showing homes. Um, once we go under contract, I send them a, a, a series of kind of gift. It starts with an under contract gift. So they get a nice gift with balloons and chocolate and maybe a, a bottle of wine, just saying, congratulations, we just went under contract. Five days later, they get what I call a stress uh, relief kit. So it has like a neck massager, some tea bags, um, like eye mask, um, uh, you know, stuff like that, just to kind of say, you know what, now it's for you to kind of kick your feet up and, and let me handle the rest. Um, five days later, they will get the entire moving uh, supplies, boxes, tape, uh, everything you need to start moving. And I'm like, it's time to start packing. I got this off of your plate um, five days later. So basically every week until we close, they get something. And then at the end of when we actually close, um, I don't just disappear. And I think that's what kind of makes buyers stick around and sellers stick around with me. I keep kind of in contact with them for at least a year to two years after. Uh, but what they appreciate the most is that after closing by about a month in, they get a handwritten note from me um, saying, you know, I hope you settled in. You will get a call from my concierge to schedule a dinner um, anywhere you want. Um, I will have an Uber come pick you up and drop you off. And that entire experience will be completely paid for. I've, I've experimented with client giant before. I didn't have the stamina to stay with it, but it sounds like it's really working with you. It's working phenomenally. And again, at the end of the day, if you think about it, I'm saving on all of the marketing materials that no one look at, that they literally get those postcards and throw in the trash. And I'm kind of focusing on the people that already like me and trust me and kind of let them do the work. Absolutely. I one time heard someone say, never go to lunch alone. Right. And yep. if you if you actually took your sphere to lunch every single day, it'd be cheaper than sending postcards to your entire neighborhood. 100%. And you'd be building 100%. the relationships that actually get you business and client giant for you. And I'm not making this a client giant ad. I make no money off it. There's no affiliation here. It was just a brilliant reminder from Myrna of something that works. Right. And whether you use a service like that or not, finding a way to automate your gifts whether gifts is your love language or not, <laughs> it's like finding a way to automate your gifts and build that relationship really pays huge dividends, doesn't it? hundred percent. And I think, again, it's not about the gift as itself, like the actual value of the gift. It's just the thought and the fact that I'm still in contact a year or two years after closing. And I think that's what kind of make them, oh my gosh, she has been like, it, 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 she has been with us from the, from day one up until we close and after. And I think that's why I would say 99% of my clients became really good friends. Um, plus I, I love cooking. So I do like a, a, a party at my house every year. So I'm like, yeah, if you, you know, if you have food at my house and drank wine, you were probably going to come in and want to work again with me. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that generous heart, that generous spirit uh, just flows over, doesn't it? And Eventually, like if you're, you're sounds like you're giving and giving and giving and the, you know, your clients reciprocate. Absolutely. And, I, and again, they, I always say in, in this line of work, um, people think it's all about numbers or experience and, and that's all great. But I think buyers and sellers can really trick, like can really catch if you're there for your paycheck or if you're there for their best interest and, and they, they will stick around with you if you're doing a good job. So we have 30 seconds left. What about for the people who are like, that sounds great, but I don't have a thousand dollars to spend on each, each and every client. How can I be, how can I do this without spending that money, Myrna? They're not at your level. What would you say to them? Yeah. I mean, I would say still kind of homemade stuff. When I started, obviously I wasn't making that production. So I, I couldn't afford a client giant on every, you know, on every transaction, but 
homemade gifts. Um, I work with a lot of different ethnicities and, and, and you know, diverse amount of people depends on their culture and what they like and what they don't again because i love cooking a homemade meal never like it won't let you down ever um a nice you know set of flowers if, if they have kids i would have you know maybe pick up a couple toys i'll find ways to kind of you know make them feel like they're they're special and that i really care even if it's on budget and, and that's what it all comes down to, right? It's making them feel special regardless of budget. Myrna, thank you so much. I want to keep this short uh, but and sweet, but how do people get a hold of you if they want to do business in Bellevue and send you a ton of clients? Absolutely. So you can visit my website, www.myrnarealestate.com, um, or you can check my Facebook page. Um, and yeah, give me a call. I'm happy to um, take more clients. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Myrna. And as always, folks, Rick Jansen, your host, 303-589-2320. Thanks and have a blessed day. Thank you, Rick. Bye-bye. Ah.